hello lovely people welcome to another episode on the trendy talk channel we're going to talk about the extension of the registration of the ghana card all right okay so honorable esla also has extended the dates for registration again saying uh, now you can do so before the 30th of september all right so this has people talking again but prior to that there has been like so many interesting things that have been going on which is also making twitter go haywire at this particular moment with the hashtag stubborn academy So finally, Honorable Esla Usu and the government have listened to the cry of the people and they've decided to like extend the re-registration of the SIM card. Guys, let's take a listen to what Esla Usu actually said. Let's go and take a listen and then we'll come back real quick. Upon consultation with the industry and in view of the challenges enumerated above, I have very reluctantly decided to grant a final conditional extension. The program will, and I'm choosing my words carefully, the program will be extended to 30th September to end on the anniversary of its commencement. That will give us one full year of SIM registration. It will be reviewed at the end of this month, and any SIM that has not been fully registered by the end of August will be barred from receiving certain services, including voice and data services. It will also be more expensive to use unregistered SIMs. The full range of punitive measures will be announced at another press briefing in September. Kindly do not blame your service provider when you suffer that fate. So that is the voice of Esla Owusu submitting um, her press brief. Now, um, so she's just saying they've first off extended the registration process. They've, they've extended the period to a full year. That is from August 2021 to August 2022. And then secondly, they are going to bar people from receiving calls and from getting data services. That is if you find yourself to be the, among the people who do not register your SIM card with the Ghana card at the end of the 30th of um, September. And then also there's going to be more expensive use of unregistered SIM cards. But this is where the confusion is. From the beginning, I thought they said we will not be able to use the SIM card at all. You understand? So it means the SIM card will become like useless, sort of. And this is what a few people have been challenging since. And I think they have good reasons to be doing so because now the tune of Esla Usu is changing. Now, one of the people who has this view that Honorable Esla Usu doesn't have the mandatory rights or the power to initiate this move of cutting people from their SIM cards if they do not register with the Ghana card is Honorable Sam George. And let's look at what he has to say. So a few days back, this is what he tweeted. Uh, he says, SIM re-registration, Ghana card fiasco, industry stagnation eminent, policy incoherence, political ego management, the case of Republic on autopilot. Yes, and then yesterday he posted this, today be today, Casa ye Uframa. Hashtag Stubborn Academy. Violence everywhere you go. 
Yes, so for some judge there, there is no way he's going to register his SIM card with the Ghana card and there is no way he would understand if they block his SIM card. Now, there was another video also circulating online from the um, the chair and leader of the CPP, Nana Frimpuma. Let's go and listen to the video and then we'll come back real quick. Let me ask you a question. Have you used technology to find out today as we sit here? How many people and who don't have Ghana cards and for what reason they don't have Ghana cards? Can I, as a citizen today, get up and, and you assess a number or call a number or go to an app and I can tell you that for reason A, B, C, D, I don't have a Ghana card. So that you can use that to make an informed decision. I'm asking the NIA to go to the office of the president today so that they will understand your limitations. May say technology is supposed to make life easy and convenient for people. We cannot use technology to disempower people and make it difficult for our citizens. Now we have a situation here. We have a situation here. We, 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 we have a situation here. So tempers are f All right, guys. So as also posted this as well so um it reads the sim registration app will be available for download on both android and ios this week barring any unforeseen circumstances each registration via the app will be subject to a 5 cd surcharge hashtag esla also speaks okay so uh this simply means that so now they have like a sim registration app that they are going to put out there which will enable the process to even go faster which is a very good initiative if you ask me because this is one of the things that they should have done long ago to be able to what to to accelerate the process of the sim registration so that's all and thanks for watching we'll be bringing you more updates in case anything new comes up so subscribe like and leave your comments in the comment section below